very rocky this trail and what makes it a little bit tougher is the fact that it's so bright right now the sun is so bright that i cast so much shadows and uh, sometimes you don't see you know some of the rocks are hiding on the shades or sometimes they're hiding on the sections that are very lit up so i have to take it easy because a couple of times i've come uh, across rocks that i'm like oh shit i didn't see that one. it would be m much easier if it was uh, overcast and then you can see much better oops you see that was a big rock that just threw me off quite a bit come on my mountain goat well, I've been saying I want forest, I want forest. Well, I got my forest. So you cannot ask too much for something because you will get it. This is beautiful. Oh wow, now it's getting even more challenging because it's sand and rocks. Ooh, look how small this trail is. <laughs> I don't think I've been on a trail this small on the Trans America Trail. Wow. Rocky small, a little sandy. Woo! My goodness. I knew it was gonna happen. I hope I'm in the right place, man. Yes, I am. Wow. This was a very small trail. Yeah, that's a road that threw me off. Woo, so good. Slow fall. Holy shit. <laughs> Gnarly, huh? Oh, yeah. that's, this is cool. It is cool. Yeah. Just didn't see that big rug and boom, oh. just bounced back. Navigating this behemoth through this uh, tiny trail with all these rocks, man, I was like, oh my gosh. It's ambitious. It is very ambitious. <laughs> Aren't you glad we're with you, brother? <laughs> oh, yes. That was fun, man, but yeah. I, I got to points like, wow, this is probably the most challenging part I've done so far since I started a few days ago. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's find the balance point towards me. There we go. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Talking about the rocks and the shade, and didn't see that rock, man. Just popped out of nowhere, and I'm coming slow, and he just completely threw the front wheel off. I'm so glad that uh, Greg and Tim are here. They helped me pick it up. I, I, I can do it on my own. I've, I've practiced uh, and I've done it before, but I would have had to uh, remove uh, most of the weight from the bike. But I uh, didn't have to do any of that because I have my two friends and between three people, it's a lot easier. Word of advice, guys. You do this, you're planning on doing this. Whatever bike you are gonna bring, just make sure that you know the technique to uh, lift it off in case you lay it down. Uh, it's very important, especially if you're on a heavy bike. If you're on a lightweight bike, well, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, if you're on a big bike and a big adventure bike, you better practice. Just find a place, uh, like a nice yard, just lay down softly and just practice the different techniques on how to get it off the ground. Very important to learn. You know, if you lay it down on the trail, yeah, it's a pain, it's a bear, but you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you can get your bike back up. So you, you won't have that doubt on your mind, like, oh crap, I'm stuck here. I won't be able to get it up. I mean, that's not gonna be the case. You know, you'll get it out. Oh man, fun, 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 fun. And this trail is just uh, so beautiful. There is a smell, this must be a flower plant that has a funky smell. It smells like a portable. That's what it smells like, like a portable. So there is a flower that smell like a portable. So for those of you guys who actually love going into portables, I mean, we can harness this flower and just make some spray. You want your house smelling like a portable? Here's your spray. Whoa, look at that drop. My goodness, pretty impressive. Very impressive indeed. I wonder if it is this flower, this white flower. Ooh, it's very strong right now. Man, 
and that was another fun gnarly intense downhill a little bit of everything they started to get very uh flowy uh in the last few miles good thing i didn't and uh we didn't encounter any other sections like that one where i dropped the bike because uh, that was a little bit too uh narrow of a trail with a lot of overgrown uh, bushes and you just couldn't see any and on top of that it's super inclined and boulders everywhere well that one was like oh my gosh and i don't even see where my tires are because and boom there he goes hit a freaking boulder and the thing is you hit a uh, boulder head on uh, with this bike is uh, so big it's just completely loses balance and anybody anybody will do it but you know on a lighter bike you can put your feet on the ground and bring it back up you know this one that's the problem with this bike it's very nimble because the center of gravity is so low it's a very nimble bike at a, even at a very slow speed but once you lose balance on it man just bringing it back to uh to the center point takes a lot of effort lots of effort Oh, this is beautiful up here, man. Look at the grass. Very, very beautiful. I'm just super happy that there is no smoke. No smoke at all. Isn't this trail addictive? I know, it's really nice. Man, it's a blast. Looks like we're pretty close to John Day. Yeah, pretty close to Let's see. see. You know what? We, pa we passed the campsite that I had marked a long time ago, apparently. Passed it? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah. If you're filming, you're, uh, you're dirty there in your lens. If you're ah! Ah, uh, I felt something earlier, like psh, like a bug splash. <laughs> so I know where it splashes in the lens. Uh, hopefully the lens is clean now. <laughs> and what I filmed before is probably all ruined. Anyway, man, but seriously, this trail is freaking insane. It's so addictive. It's uh, one of the most fun trails uh, of the entire Todd for sure. And it's beautiful on top of that. It's not just fun, it's just a beautiful place. Lots of deer. Gotta be careful. Ooh, big ass tree. This is what I expected Oregon to be. It's big ass pine trees everywhere. Beautiful forest. I'm pretty sure Juggy Bear's gotta live somewhere on here. Hey, Juggy Bear. One thing is for sure, man. I don't remember when was the last time I saw a car. I don't think I've seen one in hours like in a lot of hours i mean i haven't crossed we haven't crossed one individual one human one car on these trails well the time has changed now we are pacific time it changed some at some point during our trek today thanks god the smell of bathroom portable is gone now it smells like a real forest ah oh, but i almost feel like i can smell the pacific too I'm still in your line, Greg. I'm still in your line. You just said that earlier. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm smelling the Pacific. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not stealing your line. I'm giving you credit for it. What do you think about those trails, Greg? Oh, I love it. Insane, huh? I have so much gear, I can get up and go a lot faster. I'm pretty sure you'll be doing the whole thing in a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be over the edge. Too. These guys can ride, man. You guys can ride. Yeah, you get better as you go, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I left Florida, that was almost 7,000 miles ago. You get some daily practice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a delicious day. Delicious. It's been a delightful day. No, it's for real, man. Oregon, jeez, love it. What a blast those trails are. However, I do need a break for today already. I'm done. We've done over 185 miles and uh, my butt needs a break and my tummy needs food, man. If I don't need something, if I don't find some piece of meat right now, man, I'm gonna have to go back and try to hunt me one of those deers. 
because we saw a lot of deers, man, and all I could think of is deer burger. First time we come across in many, many, many hours and many, many, many miles called Canyon City. Very small community. It seems we found some, we found a restaurant or something. What is it? Uh, Snaffle Bed Dinner House. That looks delish. Oh, look beach. at this, Ooh, look at so that. Much like okay. Guys, we may have found the, the Holy Grail of Burger. So you gotta show people this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. Wow. I mean, if it tastes nearly as good <laughs> as it looks, <laughs> this is gonna be the burger of the Trans America Trail. <laughs> Greg, he's not messing around over Greg, there. Greg is like he's a, in a coma. You know? No, he's, no, he's, he's, in, he's Nirvana yeah. right now. He's, he's, this is atomic. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Brownie, All right, guys, morning time. This is curious, guys. Well, I has not over yet. I have said, yeah, it's not over so far. Yeah. We still have I have said bottles. that the best burger that I had on the Trans America Trail was in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Okay, my yeah. verdict for this burger right here, right now, it is. Number one. It was definitely number one. <laughs> number one. Number one of this wow. burger right here. Okay, now, Greg, what do you think? I mean, I just ate a, a medium cooked uh, burger with blue cheese crumbles and pretzel bun with bacon and barbecue sauce in it and mushrooms. If I had a bigger stomach, I'd be eating another one right now. It was the best burger. I just burger. remember that the, burger I've eaten. the burgers got the best buns. The yeah. burger comes with two big buns and a large pickle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they're laughing over there too. <laughs> you gotta tell me about this place because we have voted your restaurant to be the best burger of the Trans America Trail. Mm -hmm. So far, there's 600 so far, miles, I mean, we're miles left. left. We're, yeah, there's still 600 miles left, so somebody okay. can still knock you down from and number one on place. Brenda. And your name is? I'm Brenda Coley. This and is Brenda, my husband, Leonard Coley. And Brenda and Leonard. You can tell. Brenda and Leonard are gonna Do treat I you guys like friends. royalty when they when you guys come here, right? Exactly. We, we and you, and you tell them that you heard about them through the videos of the Motor Trick Adventure guys, and you tell them that. Well, Brenda, thank you so much for everything. You guys are awesome. We're really friendly. Thank okay, you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, needless to say, the Snaffle Bid Dinner House, one of the top places we've eaten in this entire trip. And for me, that combines, obviously, the first segment of the Trans America Trail and the second segment of the Trans America Trail. Amazing. Best burger, amazing people. Um, I can, you know, there's an awful bit, man. Incredible, huh? I, I can't even get on my bike. I, I got <laughs> 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 I Anyway, now we are going, uh, we're going to a campsite that is about seven miles from here. It's a state park, and uh, that's what we're doing. We're gonna be camping tonight. Well, I think a good time. I think we're gonna set up the tents and just crash, man. After that meal, I'm about to start rolling. Somebody, did somebody say diet? Because I'm gonna have to do diet. I got uh, about 15, 20 pounds that I need to toss away. But you know what? Those are 15, 20 pounds of total happiness. <laughs> If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change one thing, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, we did close to 200 miles today, mostly off-road. I think we put uh, maybe 15 miles of pavement total. Everything else was off-road and some amazing off-road, some challenging, some super flowy. I mean, a little bit of everything, but it's been one of the most exciting days, the variety of uh, terrain. It was just really cool. Anyway, I said I was gonna stop talking, right? Okie dokie. Now I'll talk to you guys later. Later, Gator. Hey, amigos. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think on the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on, amigos.